And so I think embracing um, people's difference from a diverse background and then really making sure that their opinions are heard and they're included in that conversation is where diversity and inclusion kind of come together. And obviously when the two are married is, is really when you get the best results. For me, I think diversity is more than just how we look. Diversity is also more about why people think the way they do. Inclusion creates a space where all, all input is welcome. When I think of inclusion, that's, that's like the willingness and the ability for someone to embrace diversity and embrace differences and utilize those things in like a positive way. Inclusion matters to me because I know what it feels like. I, I don't want to act when I'm at work. I just want to be me. You just waste so much energy if you have to act a certain way. You have to pretend to be something that you're not. I do feel like I can be myself at work first um, in terms of the way I look. I know I don't, I can wear a scarf. There is such an acceptance um, of all uh, aspects of life and cultures and, um, and lifestyles that you don't even really think about, gee, I'm, I'm different. I don't think I would have been here for 15 years if I didn't feel like I could be myself. And I come into work every day just mm -hmm. being thankful that, you know, I am who I am. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very proud of my culture. Yeah, and hopefully we're inspiring others also to embrace who they really are, right? Absolutely. It's amazing how much, like, being able to be yourself can do for your commitment and joy. I do believe that is human nature mm -hmm. for people to make assumptions. No matter how much you smile, no matter how kind you are, people assume that you don't speak um, English. Mm -hmm. um, even though I was born and raised in this country and English is my first language. I try not to react. Because that's, right. that's the key, I think, of uh, uh, actively pursuing inclusion. I do a lot of brainstorming sessions with uh, various groups, which everyone's coming from a different background, they come with different skill sets. So if our customer base is, is a, a diverse you know, group of people, why wouldn't we want to have a diverse group of people servicing who really understand or somewhat make up a, a sampling of that population. I'm guessing that you understand what trans, if there is, if there are universal needs of trans customers, that you're going to understand them better than, better than I will. And so, you know, if we don't have you, we're going to have less of an understanding of that community. Got to have more conversations where people can come to the table and really talk about the things that are important. I do agree with you that more conversations need to be had. Um, courageous conversations, conversations that push the limit either of uncomfortability or push the limit that can not only understand what our employees are feeling, but how can we again take what they are feeling and turn that and leverage it into some sort of business imperative. Yep. Well, you know, when I think about diversity and inclusion, I absolutely think about diversity being the person, um, who they are, where they come from, what they bring to the table, what their life experience has been. Inclusion is, is an act, it's a verb. It is something we have to be intentional about. It is making sure that everybody that is participating in a conversation or on a business team um, or within our organization feels like they absolutely are adding the best value that they can by the conversations that we're talking about today, by developing those type of relationships that are deep and meaningful with our, you know, from a work colleague perspective, um, that we can develop stronger relationships from which we feel comfortable sharing the good things and the bad things. And once we do, I feel better because I feel I've had a chance to share with you and you feel better because you feel like I'm being much more authentic and real with you. And that's how those relationships that um, are really so critical to business outcomes begin to form. It's an exciting evolution of how we're approaching diversity and inclusion. One that positions us to be a model for our industry and beyond. And at the end of the day, we're empowering everyone here at the Hartford to be a part of the conversation. 
Because when we all come together, incredible things can happen for you and for us. This just doesn't feel good. This feels tremendous. I absolutely agree. I mean, you and I have obviously seen each other in the hall and sure. we'll say hi as we as we walk by. But it'll, it'll be have, different now. It'll, it'll be, be different, different now. We've, we've never actually sat down and had a conversation. Yeah. So we've been here for about an hour, right? I wish I had more hours like this in my life. It's been it's been fascinating.